Pete, in your relationship with Ryan Nielsen, uh, who's now the co-defensive coordinator with the Saints, goes back quite a few years. Just your thoughts on Ryan, you you know, and throughout the years and how he's grown and into one of the really premier defensive line coaches. There's no doubt. I mean, that guy, you know, not only is he a quality person, first, start with that. I'm telling you, he is such a good human being. And he cares deeply about his players you know, um, he's a prideful guy. But aside from that personal part of it, he's a terrific football coach, terrific defensive line coach, terrific football coach, terrific teacher. And, uh, yeah, I, I'm really proud of the things. You know, I've known him a long time, and we've been we worked together, studied together quite a bit over the years. And uh, I'm really proud of him, Mike. He's done great. And, and this will be a new role for him. But um, he'll do great. And I'm really proud, Mike, that he's still with the Saints. Pete, I think one day some college team's going to come a call and, and give, get him a shot to be a head coach. I, I think so. That, that, that's and my feeling. I think some college team will offer him a head coaching job, and it won't yeah, be too much I, longer. I think you're right. And, and, and to, I don't want to speak for Ryan, but, you know, that's his dream. Uh, he wants to be a head coach in uh, – I think that was the reason the uh, co-coordinator's title was important to him, one of the reasons. And uh, I think he'll be a head coach, too, uh, college or, you know, maybe even NFL. I, I don't know. But I'll tell you one thing. He'll, whatever it is, whichever one it is, Mike, you and I both know, he'll do a hell of a job. Well, I know you've I mean, always praised on Yamada for his oh, work ethic, his oh, attention to detail as as a player. Now, athletically, you, I can't teach him to be that big, that fast. That you know, the no. man upstairs kind of put that yeah. in him. But man, right. he's he's he handles special. That, he handles that three hundred and ten pound body. I mean, you don't you don't you forget that he weighs three hundred and ten pounds because he he's so nifty and so quick, and he, and he he's very fluid in his movements. Yeah, listen, Mike, you know, I've been coaching a long time, and, and I've had some great people to work with. I've never had a better one. And, and Ryan would tell you the same thing. I mean, the guy is just uh, – and, you know, he doesn't say a lot. He's, it's not a rah-rah approach at all. But inevitably, when people haven't worked with him, you know, because I work with him twice a year, and when people haven't worked with him, it's inevitable they are going to really like this guy and identify with this guy. He's just got that way about him. And, uh, you know, he, he uh, I'm really happy that he stayed with the Saints. He turned down a lot of money now to stay with the Saints uh, last year. So I'm really pleased, and I know he's happy Ryan staying too. As this game changes in some ways, it still stays the same. you got to have a quarterback – you got to have a guy yeah. that can put that quarterback on his butt, and you better have people yeah. that can protect that quarterback from getting put on his yeah. butt. As much as you want to yeah. wheel around other things, those three yeah. things stay in place, you and they've been there them. a while. You got to have them. And in, in, in the NFL, in college, is getting more and more. It's more and more that way now. But I used to say in the NFL, you know, if you don't have a great quarterback, plan to be home for the playoffs because <laughs> you better have a damn quarterback i'm telling you you can't it's hard to do without a great quarterback it really 